So you're thinking of moving to Las Vegas, Nevada? But are you prepared to do so? Well, in this video, we're gonna discuss the top seven mistakes to avoid when moving to Las Vegas. You're gonna to wanna to be sure to stick around until the end because the last point is the most important. And we're gonna get after it right now. If you are new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing the good and the bad about living in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the very first to know about the current market here in Las Vegas. Hi, my name is Mark Pepe, and the team and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Las Vegas. We are passionate about removing the stress of relocating to a completely new city and state. As a real estate professional here, it doesn't matter whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Las Vegas. So here we are talking about the top seven mistakes to avoid when moving to Las Vegas. Uprooting your life and relocating to a new city and state, possibly from across the country, is a really big deal. There's a lot to think about when pulling up stakes and settling in a new place. Sure, it's exciting, but a lot can go wrong if you're not fully prepared. My goal, not only in this video, but in all our other videos, is to provide you with pertinent info on the Las Vegas Valley so you are best prepared to move and settle in as quickly as possible. So let's jump into our first mistake to avoid, which is muddling a mortgage on a new home. If you're relocating for a new job in Las Vegas and want to buy a home before you start working, be sure to structure your employment agreement to avoid issues with lenders. While an executed offer letter can serve as documentation to qualify for a new mortgage, many lenders will require proof that all offer contingencies have been met as well. A solution is to meet with a mortgage lender licensed in Nevada to develop a plan to fulfill those requirements preferably before finalizing the new job offer. If you're not already working with a lender here in Las Vegas, I'm happy to point you in the right direction to make this process go as smooth as possible. The last thing you want to have happen is for escrow to fall apart due to lending conditions and restrictions that stem from your new job. Point number two is choosing the wrong neighborhood to live in. You know, the Las Vegas Valley is full of a ton of wonderful communities with a vast array of amenities to fit any lifestyle. However, if you're not familiar with the various suburbs and communities, you need to rely on an expert who knows this market inside and out and watch the library of videos I've created for your benefit. On a side note, there is more to Las Vegas than just Henderson and Summerlin. I know I talk a lot about those two areas, and rightfully so, but there are other great areas across the Las Vegas Valley as well. As someone who lives and breathes the Las Vegas market, I am here to gain an understanding of your specific needs and wants and match them to the right community and home. If that home is not on the market, I will find an off-market opportunity that fits your specific criteria. My team and I specialize in off-market homes. There are so many factors that go into finding the right neighborhood and area to live in. Proximity to your job, children's school, extracurricular activities, church, specific amenities, and more. You know, selecting the right neighborhood will make a big difference and go a long way in quickly settling into a new city while being able to connect with the community around you. Point number three to avoid is not getting schooled on schools. No pun intended. Believe it or not, some people move into a community without checking out the schools. What's worse is when people move into a neighborhood with a great school without realizing that there's no more room for their child and is moved to a different school. That is a dreaded scenario. So play it safe. Call the school district or private school you want to find out if you can enroll your child 
before moving into a new home in a specific area. Greatschools.org is a wonderful resource on providing school rankings in a number of different categories like test scores, equity, and environment. I know firsthand the importance of finding the right school for your children. When I moved here over 15 years ago, we researched schools before houses. Even with the school district that has a lower ratings as Clark County School District currently has, there are still many areas with schools that rate very high on greatschools.org, along with an outstanding number of charter and private schools as well. So do your homework in advance is absolutely key. Point number four is misjudging the weather, specifically the heat. You know, the Las Vegas Valley is located in the Mojave Desert and it can get downright hot in the summer. Early June through the first half of September, the high temperatures will be north of 100 degrees and some days in the one teens. Ah, that's hot. If you are relocating from a cooler climate, this can be a culture shock to your system for sure. However, there is a positive aspect. It is a dry heat with little to no humidity. I know some people will say, hot is hot, and yes, that is true, but ask anyone from the Midwest, Northeast, or South if 100% humidity is pleasant. I think the answer would be pretty unanimous. If you take care of yourself by staying hydrated and staying out of the heat as much as possible during the peak heat hours of the day, you will be able to adjust and get through the summers, I promise. I actually enjoy exercising first thing in the morning during the summer. The scenery with the sun rising is absolutely spectacular. You know, on the flip side, we do get some winter weather here in Southern Nevada. Temperatures can drop into the upper 40s and low 50s as a high and the low 30s at night. Now I know for all of you in the Midwest and Northeast, that is still shorts and t-shirt weather, but not for us locals. It also is not too uncommon to see a light dusting in our higher elevations of Summerlin and Henderson once or twice a winter. But don't worry though, no snow shovels are needed here. The flakes won't even stick to the streets. You know, another weather related item we experience pretty much year round here is the wind. And it can be quite the nuisance when gusts reach over 40 miles an hour and cause blowing dust reduced visibility but we definitely manage. You know, it acts as a really powerful hot air blow dryer during the summer. <laughs> I'm telling you, it can get pretty windy here in the Las Vegas Valley. Point number five is not realizing Las Vegas is very diverse. Nevada is the most transient state in the country. Less than 25% of current Las Vegas residents were actually born here, which means people who live here from all over the country and world. This has created a very unique and amazing culture that you can't find in very many cities. In fact, according to bestneighborhood.org, Las Vegas has a diversity score of 99 out of 100, making it the, the most diverse city in the US. In addition, US World News and Report ranked UNLV, which is the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, as one of the top 10 most diverse universities in the country. There are people from all walks of life and ethnicity spread across and throughout the Las Vegas Valley. Each, each ethnicity does not overly dominate one specific part of town like you see in many other major metropolitan areas. Everyone is woven into one big melting pot, which really breeds a wonderful sense of community as you get to know people who may look and sound different than you. You know, one downside to Las Vegas being such a transient city is that at times it can be harder to establish friendships with people that you work with, live near, or associate with at various organizations since people are coming and going so often. But it's really cool to live in such a diverse city as we have here in Las Vegas. Point number six is not budgeting properly for entertainment. You know, Las Vegas is not dubbed the entertainment capital of the world for nothing. From mesmerizing shows, to A-list celebrity residences, to mega concerts, and of course, the bursting professional sports scene, Las Vegas' entertainment options are literally endless. 
There is not one slow day of the week when it comes to entertainment options in Las Vegas. You know, there's always something happening. The one caveat to these events and games are that they're not cheap and it seems like prices continue to climb. So if attending these entertainment options is something you desire on a regular basis once you move here, properly budgeting for them in advance will be very important. That means taking into consideration the price you're going to pay on a home, a car payment, etc. The cost of these tickets can add up quickly and really eat into other areas of your budget if you're not careful. The incredible array of entertainment options is no doubt an amazing perk of living in Las Vegas, but you don't want to get caught off guard financially by going overboard. Point number seven, and our last point, and it's the most important one that I mentioned about earlier, is don't try and coordinate a move to Las Vegas all on your own. That's what my team and I are here for. We are Las Vegas market experts and know the suburbs inside and out. Our goal is to become your trusted advisor that you can count on who has your very best interest in mind. We are a resource made available to you to lead and guide you every step of the way as you navigate the many moving parts that come with relocating to a new city. There is no doubt at times it can be an overwhelming experience, but we help minimize that. Many people think they can do a little research and call it good, thinking they can do everything on their own, only to find out many details are left out, causing so much unnecessary frustration. We are ready to help you create that lifestyle you deserve in an incredible city. Also, one side note, it is never too early to reach out. Even if you're a couple years away from moving, we are here to help get you started on that process. Well, this gives you a good overview of the top seven mistakes to avoid when moving to Las Vegas. Planning ahead and utilizing the complimentary resources available to you are key to a successful move to a brand new city. Procrastinating and waiting until the last minute to do your planning will end up causing you to get overwhelmed. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. So please like and share this video. Please subscribe below and comment if you have any questions or found it helpful. Also, be sure to check out our other videos on Las Vegas and the surrounding areas so you can continue to get a realistic sense of what it would feel like to live here in Las Vegas. So whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom appointment here in the description below. We can't wait to help you make a smooth and stress-free move to Las Vegas. So until next time, we hope to show you around town very, very soon.